Hello, good evening everyone and uh, welcome to this uh, late evening session on uh, Trading and Economic News. Uh, we're just getting ready to trade the U.S. interest rate decision which will be announced uh, in about five minutes. So we're just going to get ready for that. So as we know when we met this morning uh, we knew the U.S. will be announcing the interest rate decision at 7 p.m. GMT plus one time. And as we said this morning, and as we've always said, the markets tend to trend sideways prior to the last report of high importance. And due to that fact, we decided to keep out of the market all day and do something else. And uh, we'll now see what the market will do. So let's just have a look at the market uh, as we get ready for the report being announced. Okay, so I so we the report will be announced in about four minutes time, uh, the FOMC minutes, and as we can see, and also in about 35 minutes, the ECB president uh, Mario Draghi will be making a speech. Obviously, the market would have a huge impact. I mean, the report in five minutes, the interest rate decision will have a much uh, greater impact on the market. But do watch out for the speech by the ECB president in uh, in about 35 minutes. So going to the charts, we can see the Euro US dollar has been all over the place, which is not surprising. Uh, it's just been jumping up and down the place. And that's why it's important to keep out of the markets uh, prior to reports of high importance, especially one like this, which is of extremely high importance. So we can see that it's initially was trending sideways between the first resistance and the pivot point. And then you can see where it broke the first resistance, fell back down, broke the pivot point, went back up, broke the first resistance and the second resistance, and then came back down and it's now trending sideways on the first resistance. So actually from a trading point of view, there are really no clear opportunities in the market because we can see the market has been quite haphazard. And it has actually you know, breach the pivot points, the first resistance, and the second resistance. And you can see where it's settling down now on the first resistance. So if the market goes up, we can't buy uh, the second resistance because we can use the second resistance to buy. And besides, it's already been breached. If it falls back down, uh, the pivot point has been breached earlier, so we, we are reluctant to use that. So the only point we can trade comfortably will be below the first support. So below the first support is the only clear opportunity we have at the moment to sell below the first support. So that's where I'll be placing my order. I'll be placing a pending sell order below the first support. Uh, the market gets there fine. If it doesn't get there, then so be it. I won't be placing any, any trade. So I'll be placing that 13593. And my stop loss is 20 pips above at 135, just 136, 36, 13, and profit limit is 60 pips below, 3533. 3, 3. There we are. So again, it's you looking for clear opportunities to trade, not forcing a trade. And you know, it's thinking carefully where you're going to place your trades. Uh, always says you, you don't have to trade. If you don't see a clear opportunity, you don't trade. You only take clear opportunities um, and think through your, your trade. So like I said, the pivot point, the first resistance and the second resistance have all been compromised, so I'm just going to avoid them. The only one that's clear for me to use is the first support, so that's why I've placed my pending sell order there. And uh, we'll now see what happens when the report comes out in a couple of seconds. Just quickly go through, you can see the other markets. This is the Dow Jones, you can see it's been trending sideways. You can see the dollar Swiss franc is all over the place too. Same with the pound dollar. And the euro yen has gone up, but it's also come back down. So you can see all the markets have just been all over the place. So it's 7 p.m. now, 
the interest rate decision has been announced. Now we can see the Euro US dollar falling. But we've decided where we're going to trade anyway, so we'll let the market do what it wants to do. We'll give it a couple of minutes. Uh, if you have any questions, do click the hand button or send your questions to the question box. Uh, this will be the last session for today um, because we're not going to ha be having one attempt at the market, if any at all. Obviously, if the market doesn't get to the first support by uh, 8 o'clock, 8.30, then do delete your orders. So remember that uh, when the U.S. market closes at 9 p.m. GMT plus 1, um, all the stock exchanges around the world will be closed, so the market tends to trend sideways between 9 p.m. GMT plus 1 and midnight GMT plus 1. So because of that, if the market hasn't taken this sell order by about 8.30 p.m. tonight, I will be deleting the spending order. Okay, so if you have any questions, do click the hand button or send your questions to the question box. Let's see what's happened to Dow Jones. Uh, not much of a reaction to from Dow Jones from the report. Uh, not much from Swiss franc too. So there's been a lukewarm response to the rates decision. But again, like I said earlier, do watch out for the ECB president's speech in about half an hour. So um, if you want to take a break from the markets and uh, do something else, make sure you come back in about half an hour just to check your trades or check the market in about half an hour when that speech is made. Okay, so I'm going to leave you all to your trades unless you have any last minute questions or comments. And like I said, we've decided where we're going to trade. We've got a pending sell order below the first support. We don't have a pending buy order. There are no clear buy opportunities, just a sell opportunity. Hello, Andy. Hello, Andy. I can see your hand up. Uh, do you have a question? Or if you're able to talk, you can uh, send your question to the question box. Uh, like I said, I can see your hand up, or I can't hear you. Or I don't know if you're just waving to me, uh, saying waving goodbye. Hello? <laughs> Hello, Andy. How are you? Okay. Hi. How can I help? I've lost Andy again. Uh, I try and send your question through the question box, Andy. You seem to be having a problem with your communication. You can just type in your question and send it through the question box. Or better still, you can send me an email. I hope you're still there. Like I say, you can either send your question to the question box or send me an email. I think we've lost you there. Okay, so I'll leave you guys to look after your trades. Take care and uh, if there are any changes before the end of the day, I'll send you an email. Otherwise, we'll meet again tomorrow morning. Take care and God bless.